Okay, so this time we're going to look at how we can cut a part if, for example, if the part was too big uh, for the printer, or if we only wanted to print a small section of the model. Um, so the example I'm using here is uh, one of the boat shapes that uh, is printed for the MM227 module. Um, and the reason we need to cut this is because, you know, we can see that it's too tall for the print volume. Uh, the print volume on the um, Pusha MK4s is 250 by 210 by 220 millimeters. And, you know, this uh, visual, this darker area here is outside of the print area. Uh, we also get a message down at the bottom here to say that the there is an error that we have uh, print is outside the area. So um, I can see the dimensions of the part. It's 120 by 100 by 300. So it's the 300 height that is the problem. So what we need to do here is we need to perform a cut on this part if we want to print it um, the full size. OK, um, so to do that, if we look at the side menu here and it will have a, a menu option cut. Now, if you don't see that, just select expert and now we can see it. And if we select that cut option uh, and what we see here is we see the cut plane, uh, we can move that up and down, okay? Or we can change the angle, but in this case, we just want a, a horizontal cut. And um, I can set the height. So taking that the part is 300, in total height, so I'm just going to set it to three or set it to 150, which so the cut plane is in the middle. Um, and because we want to be able to join up this part, you know, after it's printing or after it's printed, I should say, um, we can add connectors. So our connectors then there's a couple of options here. Um, we have a plug option or a dowel option. Um, so the plug option will give us um, a pin and a, on one side and a corresponding um, hole on the other. So we can just apply those. We can set the diameter um, of the of the pin and the depth. So in this case, it's now it's set for six millimeters. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, the tolerance will be the clearance between you know the diameter and the corresponding hole. So we leave that at 0.1 and the same for the depth. So it's just a matter of, you know, placing those pins. You don't have to be overly accurate because, you know, it will print accurately and uh, wherever you place them, you know, I can slightly move them if I wish. Um, so wherever you place them, um, it will print the corresponding hole in the correct position. And, you know, I'm happy enough with those pins. So I go confirm connectors and then it's asking here you know what orientation do you want the print to be so the um this sort of a bluey color is the top part so it's saying place on cut so that would be correct because you know we have this angle so we do need to place it on this area here and the purple part is the bottom so that's fine keep that orientation happy with that next thing is to perform the cut Okay, so now we can see um, the cut has been made and we have pins on one side and we have the corresponding holes on the other. So that's how we perform a cut. Um, I guess something that might be worthwhile doing is uh, just to do a test on the fit between the pins and the, uh, the holes that everything would go together so the way we might do that is i'm just going to delete this model here you can quite easily if we uh, right click and add shape and add box so we have a small little cube shape and we just go through the same procedure with cut and add connectors and so we put the connectors in and just using the same dimensions as you would for your model um, and what I'm getting at here is to just to check that those dimensions will work and that uh, the two parts will fit together correctly. So we just perform the cut and here we are, we're again left with um, pins and um, 
you know, the corresponding holes underneath. So I think that would be worthwhile doing because rather than waiting 10, 15 hours for your boat to print and you discover that um, it doesn't fit together, just do a small little test piece and uh, uh, as a quick print and you can check it out. Okay, thank you.